In order for a point to be considered continuous, there are three stipulations that it has to meet. The first one is that there is a limit at that point that exists. So in th this case, we have as x approaches c, there is a limit here. As the approach on the left equals the approach on the right. So this does meet the first stipulation. When we look at this graph, we see that the approach on the left is not the same as the approach on the right. Therefore, the, there is no limit here at x equals c, so it does not meet that next, this stipulation. The second requirement is that there is a defined point for the function when x equals c. Here we see that the, whenever x equals c, there is a defined point. So this does meet the second requirement. When looking at this next graph, we see that there is no defined point when x equals c. Even though it does meet the first requirement, that there, is, there needs to be a limit at x equals c, because there is no defined point, it doesn't meet the second stipulation, so it's not continuous. The last requirement is assuming that we have a limit and a defined point at x equals c, these two values must equal each other. In the case of this graph, we see that there is a limit as the approach is the same on, the both, on, on both sides, and that when x equals c at the, as defined point, it is the same as the limit. So this does meet all three of those stipulations, therefore this function is continuous. When looking here, we see that although the first two requirements are met, since there is a limit and there is a defined point, these two values do not equal each other. Therefore, it doesn't meet the last requirement and it is not continuous. Now, the first problem we have here asks us to see if f is continuous whenever x equals one. What we can start out with is by simplifying the equation. So we have x minus one squared. We can use difference of squares to get x minus one multiplied by x plus one and put that all over x minus one. We can then cancel out the x minus one so our function is now just x plus one. Now by canceling out that x minus one, we have created a hole whenever x does equal one. So because there is a hole there, there is no actual point where the function equals x equals one. There's no defined point, and even though the limit does exist, that second requirement is not met. Therefore, we can say that f is not continuous, at x equals one because f of one does not exist. Now moving on to the next problem, it gives us, it gives us a piecewise function and asks to see if f is continuous at x equals three. What we can do is first calculate what is the actual value of the function at x equals three. So by plugging in x equals three in this part of the equation, the two x minus three, we can not only calculate the right hand side of the, the right hand approach of the limit, since that's when the function is greater than x equals three, so it comes from this side, but also because it actually equals it at this point, we can find the actual defined point for when x equals three. So we plug in x equals three into two or four x, so two multiplied by our x, which is three, minus three, that becomes six minus three, which just equals three. Now we can calculate the left-hand limit by using this side of the equation. Because it says less than, this is when x is less than three, it's talking about that left approach. So we can put, plug in three for our x, which is the three squared is nine minus six equals three. So our defined point is f of three is equal to three, the left-hand approach is three, and the right-hand approach is three. Therefore, since the approaches are the same, there is a limit that exists at, at f equals three, or whenever x equals three, there is a limit approaching the value of three, and there's a defined point at three, which is also y equals three. So we know that the limit of x approaches three of fx equals three, and f of three equals three. So we can say that f is continuous at x equals three 
because the limit of x approaching 3 at fx is equal to f of 3. And that's it. Thanks.